हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड टेन सो हेयर वी आर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व ऑफ योर पेपर दिस इज अब्सट्रैक्ट एल्जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम सो लेट एस हैव अ लुक ऑन इट द नंबर ऑफ टू क्रॉस टू मेट्रिस ओवर जेड थ्री ओके द फील्ड विथ थ्री एलिमेंट्स विद डिटर्मिनेंट वन इज so these are your four options right so it's directly a formula based question i will show you that formula and then we are done okay so uh firstly what i wanted i wanted to use permutation and combination so but that will make this video a little bit longer okay so i don't want that uh, it's better for you to understand this formula directly and remember it okay however you can use permutations and combinations okay to figure out what i am writing right now okay but that's i am uh, i am that's your job i am not doing that here okay so what is given to you you have to find out the number of matrices with determinant 1 of 2 cross 2 order over this field so actually this kind of matrices are actually known as sl2 f3 okay you can write z3 also here so this is a simple linear group okay and it is defined like this that it will consist of a 2 cross 2 matrices such that uh i should write aij in front of it such that aij belongs to f3 and determinant of a is 1 so this is the definition i hope you already know this definition now i will define the general linear group okay so general linear group is defined like this that it consists of okay i have written n here that's why i am taking n cross n matrices so it consists of n cross n matrices with the property that uh what is the property it has a property that determinant of a is non zero okay so these are the two important things that we need here so this is general linear group this is simple linear group this simple linear group is actually a subset for this general linear group okay and order of this sl2 f3 is defined like this order of gl2 f3 over 3 minus 1 okay so however however you can write n q n q over here to generalize this result so this is the formula that we need here okay you can okay you can prove this formula yourself it's not that much difficult just a little bit permutation and combination will be needed now you know that order of g l n f p is actually p to the power n minus 1 p to the power n minus p up to p to the power n minus p to the power uh, n minus 1 okay this is the order so finally what you have proved is order of sl2 f3 is what it is uh what is your prime number it's 3 right 3 square minus 1 3 square minus 3 over 3 minus 1 right so now if you'll calculate this number you will end up with 24 okay so this was a very easy question totally dependent upon the formula so you just need to remember the order for this group and order for this group okay so i am assuming that you know little bit of abstract algebra so you already know these two groups i am just defining here their formula okay so using this formula you can solve this question in just one minute okay so it's a one minute question nothing else so this is how we can do it so 24 is your answer that means a is the correct option right so a is correct and all other remaining options are false thank you